Hey everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's WTF episode, I'm going to show you how to correctly reference a two option field in a flow condition step. So in terms of the agenda, this is a beginner level topic and I'm going to go through a quick recap on terms of what you can currently do today in Dynamics 365 and then we're going to jump straight into it. So in Dynamics 365 workflows today, in a workflow condition step, you can reference a two option field. You simply select the two option field and then you select the field value in terms of what the criteria should be in your condition step. So this came about in terms of early this year, I was going through the process of converting my Dynamics 365 workflows into flow in preparation for my presentation at Dynamics 365 Saturday, Wellington, New Zealand. I was going mad because I could not get my flow condition step to work. And I was in a conversation with Marius and Jonas, which by the way, you should follow because they are both equally awesome people. And I finally figured it out and I was like, yes, you know what? I'm gonna vlog about this because there is probably gonna be other people in the community who are gonna face the same challenge as me. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So in my unified interface, I have a custom field called support type. And in here, its values are standard or premier. And so I have a flow where when it is equal to premier, then it's gonna go ahead and create the task. So how many ways can you go wrong with this? Well, you're about to find out. You ready? Let's do this. Using double quotes and premier. Will this work? Let's find out. Nope, that didn't work. What about single quotes in Premiere? No, that didn't work. What about without quotes? Will that work? No, that didn't work either. Okay, what if we try double quotes and yes, will this work? Nope, still not working. What if we tried single quotes and yes, will that work? No, that didn't work either. Okay, what if we just tried yes, will this work? No, that didn't work either. What about no double quotation marks? What about no single quotation marks? No, still not working. What about no? Nope, still not working. Zero? <sighs> nope, still not working. One? Nope, still not working. Okay, what about false? <sighs> no, still not working. <laughs> okay, how about true? Yes, top high five! And there you go. In order to reference a two option field in your flow condition step, make sure you reference the value of true rather than using zero, one, or the label of your two option values. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also have my own blog, so go ahead and check that out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next WTF episode. Bye! Turn it up. Let's go. Let's go.